her boyfriend came in there and he said, Gemma, I think they've made a mistake. It says implant in here. She about came off the bed. Oh no. Just teasing her, you know. Oh, oh gosh. So he <laughs> messed her up. She thought she was getting an implant. <laughs> He tried to tell her that instead of right. a reduction. She and she's got like, I wanted less, not more. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, and my She gosh. hated him. She hated Too him. funny. Yeah. And she probably was in pain, like screaming, and oh, then yeah. she couldn't even laugh from all the pain later. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> I was like, uh-oh. She said, I got to tell you something. I'm like, I thought it was, I didn't know what it was. All right, nothing's over here, Ari, so I guess I'm getting from over here. Why are you organizing? What's in your cart? That's, that's, you it was just random stuff I grabbed off of that shelf there. Oh gosh, it's all just of that? Random stuff. Yeah, that's, that's the funny thing. Like, well, I was clearing out this shelf mm -hmm. while trying to pull, cause this came from here, here. It was all over the place. Yeah. And I'm trying to get it into sections. Organized. Too, so like... I had to clear out a section to put it in first. Gotcha. Um, so that's what this is. It's just random stuff. Got some like gift toys bags. should probably go to the bottom because the kids always come over here and grab the toys and then knock everything else down. Mm -hmm. I always said that like toys know, there's be... not too much toys. We have like what six, seven all together. Oh okay. There's not very much because there's this, 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 this. Like right. very little if you actually look at it in comparison to everything yeah. else. And you got most of them, the big ones up there. I guess well that one. It used mm -hmm. to be a lot more. Well, I guess. But people don't watch their children. They just let them come in and destroy the store. So that's why I'm like, you're better than me. I mean, I guess you guys got to organize it every now and then, but I wouldn't even bother. And not just the kids, like penny shoppers too. They just come over here and destroy everything. And you don't even need to do all that. Just pull the bin out, look through it, put the stuff back like I do. Go on to the next slide. Sometimes they'll come over and all these bins will just be on the ground, taking up like half the aisle. And they're like, okay. Wow. Really? I pull them out and sit here while I go through them, but I definitely put them back. So they just leave them there and walk yeah. off. Yeah. And I guess, the, and then also we have to make room because whatever they do, they somehow end up taking more shelf room afterwards. I think because they're scattering it yeah. and whatever. Yep. And so. yep, I do the same thing. And sometimes <laughs> I even make more room. So if I was to pull this out oh, and I'll organize, oh, you know what? You leave me alone. What are you doing here? Well, you know, you're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be on vacation. Oh, my God. I they said that you can take three months vacation, paid vacation. Wow. Yeah. On me. That? I did. Oh, on you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm leaving soon. You leaving? Yeah. Oh. Man, her husband can keep his eyes open. Goodness, just disrespectful. Um, Can you tell me if this is 40 cents? I just brought both of them up here just in case, but if it's not... Is it? It's $1.20. $1.20? Alright. No, I'm not going to get it. Thank you. Excuse me, gentlemen. I know we just talked for like an hour, but let me get my hug just in case I don't see you. Because I'm sad. <laughs> I can follow you. So. Yes, you follow me. Well, yeah, you're going to keep watching. Make sure you comment and let me know it's you. And right. say hi. Okay. Good luck. I'm almost in tears. Y'all know when you have a good manager and you don't want them to leave, you're mad, but you're happy for them at the same time. And that's how she said her store manager was mad at first. Then she wrote her letter and she was crying. So if you're watching, congratulations on your journey and much success on your future endeavors. I'm happy for you, but I'm sad too, because you know, you don't know who's gonna replace her. It could be a B-I-T-C-H, you know, somebody that's mean and rude. So when you get good managers, I, I love them. So I'm sad to see her go, but I'm happy for her. I'm on 1% now and I'm heading home. What's up YouTube, friends, family, associates, subscribers, and members. 
Here is my haul, y'all. My 90% off haul and my penny haul. Okay, okay, okay. And I even got a little tiny dumpster dive haul. I got some bleach out of the dumpster. The Coraline, yeah, the bag was wet, but I grabbed it. And it's full. The um, top was just cracked a little bit, so I guess that's why they tossed it. But y'all know I find stuff like that all the time, even when there's nothing wrong with the packaging. It's not cracked, not damaged, not expired, nothing. So, um, I just don't show y'all a lot of stuff I find at the dumpster because, like I said, it be like one thing sometimes, sometimes a few things, and just, I just don't do a video. That's the easiest answer. But anyway, um, this stuff right here, I'm not sure if this, this isn't lawn and garden. I keep saying lawn and garden, but lawn and garden is 70% off, I believe, along with spring um, and summer items. So, that's pink square and yellow dot and white dot, right? This goes with... Uh, somebody help me out in the comment section. I cannot think. I was about to say, um, oh my gosh, my mind went blank. I could have easily just paused the video just now and didn't even do that and go search it. But I show y'all the real, y'all know that. I don't do no editing, none of that stuff. Some stuff I cut out, like important or personal information. But um, things like this, I show y'all the real when my mind goes blank. But um, the the barbecue and the grill stuff, that's what I was thinking that this went with. That's why I checked um, the price on the Kingsford stuff. But um, anyway, all of the pesticide stuff is 90% off. So the, the fly traps and all that stuff, if y'all find these, get them now. Don't try to wait until they penny. Don't go hide these until they penny. You know, because a lot of the employees now are looking at the cameras when they, they, they watch you anyway. So if they see you with this in your hand, then they see you walk out the store and you didn't come to the register with this. They're first going to assume you stole it. So they're going to look at the cameras right away um, or look back at the cameras because they're already watching you in the first place. And then they're going to see where you hit these items and go get them and recover them. So you're only helping them. Yes, some people get away with hiding items and finding them. But how many times can you do that? Just like the manager, shout out to you if you're watching, the one that's moving on um, October 31st. Halloween is her last day. But just like she was telling me in a couple of penny videos back of mine, she said um, she went to go pull the Christmas bears when she found out they penny. She looked all over the store for them. Then a lady came in there that morning, brought up Christmas bears to the register, they, and they rung up a penny, but she knew that that lady had to hide those because she looked for them. She went to go pull them and couldn't find them. So guess what's going to happen? She already given the word out to the new managers and, and the new employees and already showed her on camera to the other people, hey, if this lady come in here... We're denying her penny items now because they can legally deny you penny items if they catch you hiding them because you're preventing the employees from doing their jobs now. Okay? Some stores in different states consider that theft. If you hide an item, wait until it pennies out and then come back and get it and buy it. I know it may sound crazy, but yes, some people have been charged with theft for doing that. So stop being a sore loser. Be a team player. Penny shop. You win some, you lose some. But you live, you live to shop another day. And you can go to as many Dollar Generals as you can. You, look, I, what? how many I went to? Three, four, five today? Um, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe five or six today. And this is all I got. This is all I got. Granted, you know, my battery was low, so I really couldn't scan and do a lot of stuff and stay in there longer like I usually would. But one store... I found all of these items, the 90% off items and the clearance items. So this one, spec, Spectricide Wasp and Hornet Killer. I'm going to go ahead and give you the UPC number for it. It's the 18.5 ounce value size. It may not, it should not be where the bug spray is, but I still check that area anyway. The last four of the UPC number is 2217. Okay, I give you the UPC number newbies just in case you're in the store you can't scan you don't have any service or your phone is dead um well if your phone is dead that won't help you either unless you write it down but um you take a screenshot pause my video right here take a screenshot of the upc number and then if you can't scan all you got to do is go to your photos in your phone if you find this spray green can go to your photos look for the upc number look at the can that you're holding in your hand in the store 
If it says 2217, then you know you got your penny item, okay? Even though you can't scan. And if you're still nervous, when you take all of these up there, put one or two up there at a time. And sometimes they wait on you to put the rest. And I'll say, you can go ahead. And, you know, I say it polite like that. You can go ahead and start ringing me up. Then when they ring up, I look at that register. If it's the price I'm looking for, a penny, 40 cents, whatever, then I go ahead and put the rest of them up there. If not, I say, oh, wait, holds up. Wait a minute. Let me put some pimping in it. Um, <laughs> the price is not right, Bob Barker. Um, I thought this was 90% off. My apologies. I'll go ahead and put this back. You know, I tell newbies to say that. You know, of course, I don't do all that anymore. I'd be like, mm -mm, girl, take that off. Never mind. Thank you, though. Appreciate you. But, yeah, you could just say I thought it was 90% off. And I say 90% off because some cashiers, some, will ask you. They'll say, well, how much did you think it was? I'll go ahead and change the price to what you thought it was. Like, damn, well, let me get a TV out this bitch. Well, Dollar General don't sell TVs. But that's what I be thinking when some of them have done that. Well, if you, if it was that easy and you don't need no proof or anything, you believe me that I said I thought it was 90% off, let me go get some more things that I thought was 90% off. But they'll ask, what did you think it was? And I'll make it that price. Don't say 50% off if you know you don't want to pay 50% off. Okay, so say 90% off. These are um, originally $4. So 90% off $4 is 40 cents. All right. So I got three, six, seven. I actually got eight of these, but I gave a customer one of these. Okay. And I'm going to spread the rest out to other people who has this issue. I think I may give it to Mike because if you guys saw our, our painting video, you saw that he had to leave twice to go get some wasp spray. So if he's going to do some more house painting in the future, I might give him a couple of these as well. Let's go on to the penny hall. Drum roll. <laughs> All right. Here is my penny hall. That's useful to someone. That's useful to someone, to somebody. Ugh. Okay. I can't believe I found this. And it's probably going to go right in the trash. I don't know. Well, I was going to say it's open, but these aren't open. Um, Let's see if it's expired. I find a bunch of these. I still got a bunch of these in there. I really got to start back giving this stuff out. Um, I hate that the shelter don't accept um, donations anymore. Um, since that COVID stuff, you're like, they just, they just don't. So y'all know that's why I was dumping a lot of this stuff at the shelter. So I'm trying to find some new places. I've been giving stuff out to people, but I'm trying to find like facilities that are accepting donations right now. Um, and I have one place in mind, but yeah. So I've been finding a bunch of these. I still got some. This is an old, old penny. This Alka-Seltzer gum. The last four of the UPC number is 0262. Um, this cotton face mask. All right. 6685. Last four of the UPC of our code number. This um, bandana right here. Okay, it looks just like this. It should be folded with a tag on it that says a dollar. They have a lot of bandanas that have a dollar tag on it. So make sure you're paying attention and make sure it's folded like this, okay? There's the UPC number, just in case you need it, 0428. And if you hear anybody barking in the background, my apologies, that is Q. He's in the restroom. Him and Lonnie got allergies so bad. Here's another old penny. This is probably all dried out, but I just got it. I get stuff for the sake of you guys. So that's another reason. And people on TikTok ask, do you find anything useful? Do you ever find anything good? It may not be good to you, but it's good to someone. Um, so where I was going with this, sometimes I get stuff that you like. I left two of these because one, the top was missing. The other one, it was all dried out. But I still get it for the purpose of the video. Instead of just telling you and describing to you what's a penny, I bring it home and show it to you. And if it's no good, I'll throw it away. Just like if I find an expired mushy candy bar. I'm still going to buy it for a penny and bring it home. No, I'm not going to eat it. But I'm bringing it home to show you what's a penny so you know what to look for in your store. Just in case you find some that's perfectly fine and nothing's wrong with them, okay? So this is another old penny. Antibacterial hand sanitizer spray. It'll say $3 on it, but it is indeed one cent. There's the last four, one, five, two, one. Okay, not sure, um, like I said, if this is dried out or not, and it's a little keychain. And even if you don't want the um, 
sanitizer. Just take this off and use this for something, you know? And um, let's see. Oh, no, shoot. I was supposed to spray. See? Nothing's in here. So it's dried out, like I said. I thought so. But I can, um, hmm, I could put alcohol in here. I could put alcohol in here and dilute it, maybe, and um, reuse this. Put it in my car, in my purse, or something. Spray somebody real quick in the eyes. So I'm trying to, um, antibacterial them. Here's another penny. Okay, no top. Riptide. Almost remind me of Road Tide for y'all Alabamians. Shout out to Geraldine. I miss you. Rest in paradise. I miss you. My moderator, my friend, Geraldine from Montgomery, Alabama. Um, this says Riptide for Women Daily Fragrance Sunshine Body Spray. Four ounce. It was last on clearance at $1.80. It is now a penty. A penty with a T. Last four is nine nine one seven, and the rest of these items you see me with, um, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are what we call freebies. These items aren't a penny. This is my second time getting this pancake thing. There's no barcode on it unless it's hidden somewhere because it is in kind of like a well, no, this is sealed Ziploc thingy, but there's no barcode, so. You know, a lot of times if you find items loose like this, and it makes great donation items as well. They're still brand new. Um, maybe the people that you donated it to don't think so or don't know that, but who cares if they're in need? Like this bandana, brand new, just don't have a tag. Um, a lot of stores will just throw them in the bag. Some of them will get another one of your penny items and say, I got three items without tags or four. They'll just ring up something else four times. Boop, boop, boop. So then you'll see this on my receipt five times, but I only got one of these because they only tr they charge me a penny for those. You know, just to charge me a penny. But a lot of stores just throw them in the bag. A lot of stores also throw penny items in the bag and won't ring up a lot of penny items because they don't want it to show up on the in their store that they're selling a lot of penny items. So what's better than a penny? Free. You know, I be wanting them to ring my penny items up. Y'all know I don't do a lot of videos. I find a lot of penny items where they don't ring them up. But I don't have a receipt, and I'm Sade with the receipt, so I got to show y'all the receipt and the proof. I know a lot of y'all will believe me if I bring y'all the items and tell y'all their penny, but I still like to have that receipt on hand. And y'all have witnessed in a lot of my videos where I get to the register and they'll ring up one item and then throw the rest of my penny items. Say all of this was a penny. They'll throw the rest of these in the bag so it'll look like, oh, yeah, we pull real good. We do our job. We only sold one penny today. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of how they do it. I don't get mad at them. You know, I let them do what they do. Some of them will ring that one item up and then void it and then just throw everything in the bag for free. So that's just how they do. So let's go ahead, um, get into this receipt. All right. So remember, um, newbies or non-newbies, veterans, my day ones, my middays, my newbies, all y'all. The UPC number is always on the receipt under the item. Um, in some stores, it may be next to the item. This is an updated store, um, a new system store. You can tell the difference in the receipt, okay? So this receipt, it shows the last four is 2217. And what did I tell y'all? 2217, okay? So if I forget to show you an item and you're like, she went too fast, she didn't show me the UPC number for that mask. And I want, I want to see that mask UPC number. There's the mask right there. Okay, 6685. I actually rung the mass up four times to charge me for those extra four penny items. Uh, well, not penny items. I don't know if these are a penny. I, they just didn't have a tag, so I, I got them free. Okay, well, for a penny. So I got 17, a total of 17 items. All of my items were not a penny. The bug spray was 40 cents, as you can see. Okay, 40 cents. And then the rest was a penny. All right, so my total sale, ready, drum roll. Shade, why are you doing a drum roll? We can see that I'm in total already. Okay, my total sale was $3.52. And Florida was petty enough to charge me 23 cents in tax. My total sale actually was $3.28.
and they was petty enough to charge me 23 cents in tax. So my total sale out the door and out the store was $3.52. And that was on tonight, October 25th, 2023 at 3 something 13 p.m. It looks like. All right. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please give the video a thumbs up. Meaning like it. Come on, Sarah, since you're still up. Come on, come down here. Please give the video a thumbs up. If you like it, if you dislike it, hell, give it a thumbs down. If you really dislike it and dislike me, just come over here to get free information and don't want to say, hey, cat, dog, A, B, C, or D, or emoji in the comment section, this is for you, darling. Please tell... Well, y'all heard what she said. Please tell a friend to tell a friend about Sade with the receipts, and please don't forget to follow me on Facebook and TikTok. They are messing with me badly over here on YouTube. Um, they're trying to take away my page. Long story short they're saying that i was bullying making bullying comments and violating community guidelines y'all know i've been on youtube for many many years never had no issues with comments okay because i know how youtube works so i don't know why they're after me so bad just like they've been cheating me over the past couple of years with my subscribers i should be well over 500 000 subscribers right now trust me i know i know y'all like how you know i know the highest I got up to was at 134, and then it dropped drastically, and I got down over 2,000 subscribers. And you mean to tell me, in two years, all these people are subscribing to my channel. I'm seeing them. I'm getting people phone and subscribing. And then, in my other hand, watching my phone to at the live count to see if it shows. It does not pop up. They're messing with me. I've emailed them several times. Um, I guess they don't like my tone. I don't know. But neither here nor there. Please follow me everywhere else, just in case. Go. And what's all over your hands? Please follow me everywhere, just in case they take this channel away, all right? Y'all will need to be able to find me, because um, I don't want to just disappear on you guys, and you're like, what happened to Sade? Did she deactivate her page? What happened? You know, y'all in the street gossiping. Y'all heard what happened to Sade? Anybody seen Sade? I'm telling y'all, because y'all don't stay to the end of the video, and I'll be giving y'all information. And in my long videos, I be showing y'all game for the people that's yawning and don't want to hear me and other people talk, Becky, in the video, okay, and comment and timestamps. And that's another thing, y'all, please don't do that. I, I like when y'all comment timestamps when I ask y'all to or, like, if y'all pointing something out to me. But if you comment timestamps and stuff like that, like, say, for instance, you comment the timestamp of the end of the video where I'm showing the penny haul. Then people are going to click on the timestamp and then they don't need to watch the whole video because you just gave them the timestamp of where I got the penny haul or me at the register. Stop doing that. You know, I, I feel like, and it could just be me, but it's like some people be hating doing that. Like, let the people watch the video. Why do you have to comment on every one of my videos with the timestamps? You know, th nobody hasn't done that in a while, but I'm just saying that for anybody that's listening now for future videos, please don't do that. But if you're trying to show me something in the video, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking to you guys because a lot of you guys try to point things out to me and put the timestamps and stuff like that. That's not what I mean. But I mean just timestamping the whole video. She's at the register at 28 minutes, 52 seconds. Her haul, she's showing her haul at 30 minutes and 5 seconds. Like, stop, you know? Even though they don't type that, but when you click on it, you know exactly what they're doing. I click on one timestamp, I'm at the register. The next timestamp, I'm at the end of... Like, stop doing it, okay? Okay, last but not least, please okay, share, okay. share, share if you dare, honey. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Toodles. Toodles. Peace. Oh, and I just woke him up to clean up his mess, and he still said peace. I love my only son, even if he think I'm mean as hell. He'll thank me later.